This is a three pound package of bees and this is how you're going to pick them up from your local IFA dealer. What we have in here is about 15,000 honeybees and that's a, that's a good start to a beehive. Now all these bees in here are going to be dead in 30 days. So what we want to do is make sure that we feed them and nurture them so that the new generation coming on can pick up the slack and it'll continue on and grow and produce a honey crop its first year. So what we want to do is install a package now. This on the, the top, this may look a little bit different. This is the queen. So the queen's in a, in a cage by herself and she has a candy plug in there. So you want to expose the candy plug when we put it in the hive and I'll demonstrate that. To open up the package, all you do is take your hive tool and pry up on the can a little bit. And that can is their feeder can to travel. This is what they've been eating the last few days. So carefully pry that out. And there's the feeder can with some syrup on it. You can see how they, much they love that. Shake that gently into the hive. If there's a few, just sit them in the front. They'll find their way in. Then what you want to do is take the queen off. So this is the queen cage. I have her on there with the thumbtack. And you're going to take that queen cage off. Okay, so you want to take that queen out carefully. Check the candy plug on the bottom that it's exposed or if there's a, a tape over it or some type of a concealment so she doesn't get out too early. And then what we're going to do is hang that on the comb right there. We'll just take and, and hang that right there so that queen is hanging right there with that candy plug exposed. And also you can see the wire right here on the front. We want that so that it's exposed also so the bees can get to her and start feeding her. Let me turn that around a little bit. So the bees have to get to her. See this little bee coming up here to feed the queen? They have to get to that screen. If they don't feed the queen, then she's not ever going to smell like the bees and she'll starve to death within several hours and die. So what we want to do is expose that screen so when we hang that in there, we want that screen hanging to the side just like that. Now the bees are going to be attracted to the queen. So the queen is going to draw all the bees in. So what we want to do is take and kind of roll that a little bit, get all those bees and then dump those bees right in there. Give it a little shake that. Now you got plenty of bees in there. And you want to do this about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the evening. Set that in front of the hive just like that. Slide the frames in like this. Let the bees move around nice and gentle like that. The bees will move around, let those flight frames and then fill in the rest of your frames. You're going to need 10 frames in there and a feeder. Don't forget the feeder. One gallon every 10 days. That's how much food this hive's gonna require until the hive weighs 80 pounds and ready for honey production the 1st of June. I'm gonna give them a frame of honey. Out of another hive, this is just a frame of honey out of another hive that's really gonna help them get it going. If you have another hive, if you don't, just make sure you're feeding every 10 days one gallon. And here's some more frames. Frames with the queen, ready to go.